What's up, everyone? We're back. Yellow this time. Finishing uh, out with yellow. It's dead alive time. Yeah, Dow time. Uh, the best color in the set, yellow. Uh, Brandon is here. Uh, that is why we did it backwards, because Brandon had to be here for yellow. Uh, we are also joined today by Ollie. Hello. And Brian's here, too. I am. All right, so let's kick it off. Brian, go ahead. All right, we've got this level zero Kurami. She's a double rare. Uh, when this card becomes reversed, you may put the top card of your deck to your clock. If you did, put the top two cards of your deck to your waiting room. Choose a level X or lower date or celestial spirit character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. X is equal to the total level of the cards sent to the waiting room by this effect. So it's like a cigarettes, Ricky, on reverse. Free. Cigarette. Free card. Free cigarette, Ricky. Free fucking card. You know how he said the like Lukoa was like, oh, it's like maybe a free card. This is like always a free card. Okay, yeah, there's no, no stock cost. Yeah, you, you... Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's fucking gross. This card's it, it, fucking it, it, stupid. Give an S. This card's so good. I love this card so much. Yeah, it's fucking broken. Like, this card is, like, really fucking stupid. It's just a free card. It's a free selective card. Well, pseudo-selective card. But, like, yeah, it's, the only, it's free. Like, the, only, the only, like, guess downside of the card is that, like, it's, like, selection at a point of the game where you don't actually have a lot of good things to pick up. Yeah, but it, like, it's, like, always a free card. Right. If you mulligan day zero, which you could, this card always hits. There's, like, a terrible fail case where you have no character in your grave and you mill two climaxes. In which I mean, case, you were like, it was free, and you I mean, don't even get punished. Always had. It's not like you punished made if you hurt yourself. Well, you mill two climaxes with no character in grave. Oh. Yeah, sure. that's what I was saying. It's like, that's the only fail case, and that will not happen. You can play around that. This card's probably really good, but like it does have like, like an annoying downside to it, I think. Fair. Next, uh, we got the twins. You have four more other characters. It's a minus one level in hand. During your turn, this card gets 3k, so it is a 10-5. And then when this card is placed on the stage of your hand, if all your characters are date or celestial spirit, so if you're playing a legal data live deck uh, without that one off trait card from set one, you may uh, pay the cost, which is ditch two cards. If you did, perform the following two effects in any order. If you didn't, do one of them. So if you don't ditch two, you do one of these effects. If you ditch two, you do both. Uh, send the top card of your clock to the waiting room, or deal one. Or both. This card's fucking... This card's they really, fucking stupid, they, they really yeah. just looked at the fucking Dragon Maid 3 tier and just like, what if we just made it better? In almost every way. Yeah, yeah. The, the Dragon Maid one is big cross turn. But like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Like, who cares? Dude, if my early plays are living cross turn, I'm like, damn, this is a good game. Yeah, damn, my opponent must be having a shit time. They can't kill <laughs> this guy. But yeah, it's very simple, but like just ridiculously overstatic card. Just, it's a burn, it's a heal, it's both. It could like be an off lot, finisher, dude. and it's, it's your angle or your devil. It's um, good, yeah. Oh. All right, next, Ollie. Uh, we got this 3-2 Katori uh, on play heal. Uh, when this card attacks, if you have the choice climax, you can pay to ditch a character. Uh, if you do, this gets 1k power and perform one of the following two effects of your choice. Burn one two times or burn four. Oh, wait, no, yeah, burn one two times or burn four. Chipper, chipper, blow them out. It do. You will like ninety percent of the time use the first effects. Yeah, ninety percent of the time. I see your point. Cocochino. Water. Yeah, this is this is cheaper Cocochino. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's say two ditch one, ditch one, one yeah. and it heals, and it can burn four. It's just power creep Cocochino. Yeah. Broke. It's Off choice. Good. good trigger. Good card. Card's good. Ah, it's, it's probably an A. It's just a super simple, yeah. like, fucking big it's club just, ender. It's, it's hard to card, consider yeah. it over some of the other finishers. I think the well, the current the Kermie 3 2. I, the, I think the, the, the other choice Kermie is better, in my opinion. That card's a lot more precise than this card. Because yeah, that's you can what pick I like. anything. I like, how, yeah. 
it's, it's more precise and theoretically, I mean, it pushes more damage overall than this card too. Unless you're going for the burn four, but. Yeah, if you go for the burn four, it's the same. It's also slightly cheaper because that card's end of attack, this card's on attack. Uh, for the. Mm -hmm. All right. And, it, and it's more Chad to play their combo. It's, you know, the synergies, but. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, Brandon, go ahead. All right, you ever wish your your clean cut was even better and worked at level zero and level one? Boy, we got a deal for you. We got the clean cutting twin. That so, despite it's only two thousand power for it to be a clean cut, you can pay one to give it thirty five hundred more power, boosting it to fifty five, and that's before you do any other buffs. So, realistically, you can clean cut as at level one as well as at level zero. Which is insane. It is worth noting that the deck that you would play this card in needs every fucking plus it could ever get because you you just bleed hand like a madman. In that Honestly, deck. I would argue you, you could run it in multiple decks. It doesn't just have to be that deck. I do like that you can use it at one. If you if you snipe your opponent's utility card that's fifteen hundred or whatever, it's it's just the same as a clean cut. Or you can like pay one get a pay one plus at level one for a current combo. That's I'm all going to point this out just because this is a... I'm sorry, Dad cut you off, Ollie. That's fine. No, I was just going to say because um, uh, it just... It, it's... Uh, the only like uh, issue I see is that you, you can't really uh, play it on your first turn. I mean, I guess you can if your opponent plays a shitter, but... Yeah, they'd have to play a small card. This pretty much what has to be like your follow-up card, but it's still pretty good. Just hit your origami on your first turn. True. Yeah. Hit your origami <laughs> drop salvage. I was going to point out also just a cool synergy for what it matters. If you go back to the very first card in yellow, the on reverse Ricky cigarettes, I've done cool, cute plays where you trashing your cigarettes, um, your, your uh, Ricky cigarettes, code or uh, Kermy, whatever you want to call it. You let it get reversed, get a plus off of it, then you clean cut it back with this so you can do it again next turn. It's a real play in that deck, dude. Do you I've I've seen Brandon vomit so much hand in that deck. That deck is like truly suffering when it comes to how much hand you need. So you'll you'll make that play in that deck. I mean, you have to. It's 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 so sick. <laughs> All right, next card. All right, does anybody know which twin is which? No. Nope. Ah, uh, this nope. is. All he knows. He he's read enough Dojin. This is not Yuzuru. The other one. Kagari. Kagari, yeah. Okay. Kagari is the Chuni one. Mm hmm Okay, this is and one Yuzuru, of the twins. And Yuzuru is the quiet one with the droopy yeah, eyes. Yeah, the one, the one yeah. that talks in weird weird dialect. Okay. Your other character in your front row center slot gains 500 power. When you trigger a wind, or when you, when you slam a wind, until the end of your opponent's next turn, this card gains all of your other, other twin gain 2,000 power. Yeah, sorry, it didn't and, format that right. And it's a self tap brainstorm. Uh self tap salvage brainstorm. You can play these if you want. I don't think any of the decks play them anymore. But to be honest. Or, yeah. I think, it's, I, think bo I think both these cards are a trap. It, it take they take up way too many slots to use them effectively, I think. They are cool. They are cool. I don't even think they're bad. I think you just you just don't have the slots to play them. Mm -hmm. But I think vacuously these the, these two cards are going to look at it, because this goes hand in hand with the next card. Um, yeah. Does, does help your combo get over. Yeah, it does. Not that that card needs any help to get over. <laughs> Alright, next. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got Yuzuru. Uh, if you have the Kagari, this card gets 1,000 power, so it's 4k. When a Climax of Wind trigger is played in your Climax zone, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level 1 or higher, add it to hand. Uh, if not, you leave it there. And then on attack, choose one of your other characters. Give it 500 times your board. Other characters. So Shimakai, 2k. I mean... Yeah. You said this deck needs all the pluses it can get. Yeah, it's a coin flip for a plus. But you are running, like, a thick one and higher count. So you should hit more often than not. 
I don't know. This this card, this package is just, uh, unfortunately, I don't think makes the cut. But remember how good the art on these cards is uh, when we look at the cards that you actually play, uh, because that's the real crime here. I don't think these actually look that bad. These the, these look a lot better than the Akurumi did. Okay, dude, you can you can defend those cards when we get to them. Uh, next card. Wait, we're talking about these ones or or one? No, we're, we're talking about the level threes. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I thought we were talking about the one zeros. All right, Ollie, uh, this is yours. Yeah, we've got this one zero Yuzuru uh, during your turn. Follow your characters. If you're playing the game, this gets plus four K, so it's seven five on your turn. Uh, on attack, you can surveil, and then climax combo. Uh, when you have the wind out, this is honor versus salvage. If Smart, you play this yeah. deck, you must play eight wind. But this is an yeah. eight five that mills a card if you want. Yeah, the card yeah. basically kills anything. That's like it's it's like the the Kirito with with, with the with the bonder already built in. Yeah, but it, it needs to kill something. All it does, but it does need to reverse. Yes. The fact that you can that you surveil with this, you can try to put cards that you want to salvage. If you're, if you're looking on top of the deck, you know, a lot of times you'll put it back on top if it's clean, unless it's a card you want to add to your hand, and you'll throw it away. Yeah, it gives you the nice option. I think it's fine. I think it's like a necessary evil for the deck. Uh, if there was like an on-attack combo because of how this deck is and how much hand you do need, I think I would rather play an on-attack combo, but we play what we have. It swings big. All right. Well, here's the cards with the atrocious fucking art. Um, hmm. uh, this, this is one you, doesn't Brandon. Look that bad. Yeah, I know this the atrocious art, but for the great cards. This one. So this card is a dot. It's a two one a dot stock Adachi, and it is on play. So you pay one to play it. Then you have to you can pay another one, ditch one. To spawn from your waiting room, one of these two three twos in the side, which we will talk about, which are just part of the eight win package deck. Um, typically, if you play this deck, you want to run three to four of this card. Yeah, so you got to run three to four, two, one, five hundred Adachis to play it. So you you can see where your slots are going. You can see how the thick level one lineup with like two to three of this card, two to three of this card, four of your combo kind of gets rough to play when you got to play. Three to four of this, and then your top ends. You run out of slots pretty fast. But I, I think this is fine. It is very hand costly to do multiple of this because one is a back row assist and one is an attacker. Mm -hmm. Um the back row assist is like literally your fucking win con in this deck. Without it, like the deck does not push as much damage as it needs to. And then of course you need to do the combo to push more triggers. So like you're going to be resolving like two to three of this over two turns at level two. So like you're going to bleed a ton of hand to get this stuff going. So just keep that in mind. That's why I was saying like you, you take every plus you can get, you crash that cigarettes, you cut it back, you do it again. You need every single hand you can. All right. Next card. Back to Bryant. All right. We've got two, two Kermy. For each of your other date or celestial spirit characters, this card gains a thousand power, so it sits at nine five on a full board. Uh, it has on attack, twin drive, and hand on core. Opless Kermi. This card's seems, really good with yeah, the with pretty, the fucking back row, mm -hmm. the back row Kotri. This is your. I can't believe it's not Niji Engine. Just, uh, what was it? What did Sam say? It's the square peg round hole. Just, you, this is this is how you square square peg round hole the meta. Just twin drive the standbys <laughs> and make the board. You just do it every single turn. This card also right. just, just gets a good rank just for the art. The art's great. I already said it was topless currently. Do you have cleavage? Alright. Simple card. Next. Uh, this is Kogri. Yeah. Uh, when this card is played from stage in hand, if you have two or more other characters, you may draw and then discard, draw ditch, and then it is a rest to search brainstorm. Why? It's for twins waifu, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a five card brainstorm. 
on yeah, the first until, turn. until you draw <laughs> until you draw a climax of the, the draw a ditch. I just, I just oh, don't shit. know why you would run a res two searching brainstorm when you have two other like searching brainstorms in Dow that only require rest one. Yeah, this card's not playable. Yeah, not play this card. Next, Ollie. Okay, I got this 1-0 Kotori. Oh, and this is trying to tackle the top card of your deck. Uh, surveil. Uh, and then change the beginning of your climax stage. You put this, pay the cost. If you do, choose one of this other 1-0. Where, uh, where does this pull this Kotori from? Is it from the waiting Probably room? Probably waiting room, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 you sack it to spawn the other 1-0 Kotori. And then this one has hand on core. This is like the Niji version of the like level one check and wreck that like literally no one played after the first week because they realized it sucked. Mm. And this one also sucks. Level one check and wreck is funny, but it is not good enough. Funny when your opponent attacks you though, and you surveil so you can get that climax though. Damn. Yeah, Rip Ranko cool. package. Cooler when uh, fucking Reagan does it. It is cooler when Reagan does it. Because then you're playing Reagan, you're playing a Chad character. Instead of Kotri. Who's the opposite of a Chad? Kotri's a simp. Well, she's kind of a Chad. Eh, is, is half she? the time. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, next, Brandon. Oh, Megan. Alright, we got another Kotri, which is just the one that it changes into. During your turn, if you're playing the game, it goes up to 7k, and then getting your opponent's attack phase, you may basically just swap it back out for the other coterie so you can surveil again. Yep, that's the mm -hmm. Renko package. Yep, you play eight cards in your deck to get a check and wreck and not combo and lose all your hand. Yep. <laughs> yeah, why well, you gotta play it like that, dude? <laughs> Sorry, they hated him because he spoke the truth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, next, Brian. All right, two one Kotri. If you have a full field of date or celestial spirit characters, this card is 10k. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, if you have two or more other characters, you may draw two cards and discard two cards. And when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, if you have a full field, you may choose a character in your waiting room and put it in your stock so you can play for free. The fact that this card is full field means that it is a really bad dig to see if I get my thing to go off this turn card. I mean, I think you think of it the fact that it's just a free stalker. It's just, well, it's a 2 0 10k that filters you too. But, like, when I look at these cards that dig, I'm thinking I'm looking for a thing before I go off. And uh, this means I have to fill my board to see if I hit. Yeah. But you have to play it the turn ahead. The filter. Have to actively commit to it. It's yeah. It's, it's, it's all right. I, I don't it's, think it's terrible because it's a two-zero filter, but it is awkward. Look at it like a check X, right? Sort of, yeah. Check X's scale up in multiples, though, which is always nice. You get to like draw a clock. Usually, True. like, check four, check five. You check, like, fucking 12 cards. But this is just two. Eh, whatever. On to, on to cooler cards. Uh, Three, two... Which one's this? Can't tell. Uh, just yeah. If you have four or more other characters, you cannot return your opponent's characters to hand by the effect of wind. Keep that in mind. Uh, 2k to all characters in front. When this card is played to the stage from your hand or by the effect of the 2-1, if you have a full field, you can stock the top card of your deck. When your character triggers a climax of the wind trigger, if you have a full field, choose any of your opponent's characters, front row or back row, and put it on top of your deck. This is your win condition. Your win condition is slamming this card down in the back row, digging for as many triggers as possible, and stacking, like, two to three clean damage on, like, every single attack on your opponent's deck. That is how you win. And in my experience, the games where my <laughs> opponent hits, like, two tr win triggers in a turn cycle, spins my back row to the top of my deck, and sticks me for six in the same turn are the games that they win. 
And when mm -hmm. that doesn't happen, they lose all their hand and die. Yeah, I, I, yeah, my opponent is uh, all, mostly always Brandon and Nico those two <laughs> times he borrowed the deck. <laughs> but the oh, experience yeah. the experience was the same, <laughs> regardless of the pilot. If, if they hit, cards, you die. Suck, the true duality of 8 wind. Yeah, um, it is really... Oh, not A+, plus, B+. Plus. Um, it, 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 when you hit, this card's fucking gross. The fact that you remove any card on their board um, and then it just becomes damage <laughs> is so disgusting. Uh, the, the, this, this card is like the reason you're playing the deck, I think. The, the other card that we're going to look at in a second here is just a facilitator. It's icing on the cake, basically. Yeah. We can, uh, we can look at that now. Ollie, go ahead. Okay, you got this three two Kagari. Uh was played from stage uh to stage uh from hand that yeah, from hand to stage by the effect of uh or by the effect of the two one, uh you can heal. And then climax combo with the other wind. When it attacks, if you have the wind in your climax zone, if you have a full board, uh look up to two cards to top your opponent's deck, choose a two among them, put them on top of your decks on the rest of the waiting room, and this card gets the following effect. Uh you can twin drive. So it's smoke and twin drive. Second effect optional. So you but you have to declare it at that point. So you attack, you look at two, and then you say if you're gonna twin drive or not. So Dude, you you check two clean, and then like you hit like double win trigger. You car pushes so much. Damage. Don't even joke about it. it it's happened multiple times. <laughs> but, like I said, that's literally how they win. That's how this deck wins. Is you you spin both of their back row and stick four in one swing. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is what you're trying to do. It's just, it's just you, when you when when you see the two win triggers, you just realize the inevitability that you're eating four damage. Yeah, like. I this... literally stuck Harmon for five with this. I literally yeah. one game against him. I, I went, oh, twin drive. Oh, hit two wins. Bounce both your back on top. And then... And then yeah, and then just E5. Five. And I go, oh, I was 2-0 a second ago. You attacked once. Um, yeah, it's it happens. Um, it's like the most all-in level two finisher deck I've ever sat across from. Because um, they either hit or they don't. And you either die or they die. How often do you like actually like get like multiples of these plus a, a back row if you are willing mm -hmm. you, again you go all in so because i mean these are dying <laughs> on the cross turn probably oh they're 12k okay. they're 12k yeah, they oh yeah because you got the assist yeah they, they sit they live half the time and then um and as for how many you get normally when you go for it you get one of the back row and then you get one of the front row and if you're having a decent game you're normally overplaying to get a second of the front row you, but you, you never try for this. It's impossible. You got to remember the back row is like the back row makes the other lanes a threat because any attack could trigger a wind. Mm -hmm. This is a cool package. Yeah, the deck's definitely really cool. I think it has a hand problem, and you got to build around fixing your hand so, problem. But here, again, again, here Brandon's I, figured I, that I, out. I figured out. I mean, the the key is you just run. I mean, the call the deck runs. The relatively low cost. The two ones, the only thing that that really eats your hand. Everything else is relatively cheap. And the way you you let these, the way you live into level three is unironically the amount of stock this because of twin driving. You actually just have to be willing to hard pay three hand on core your or part pay three on core your uh, level threes here. Mm -hmm. right? You just have to be willing to because. You, and the deck doesn't actually use too much stock throughout most of the game. Actually, so you actually will have a fair a close to 10 stock a lot of times when you go for this. Yeah, because you're generating extra for every one of these that attack. But even if you end up paying 3, you'll you'll end up with like 5 or 6 you need uh, to going into level 3. Anyways, so. Yeah, you gotta pay them out. Uh, yeah. But yeah, card's definitely cool. Uh, this deck is gonna probably be dirt. Uh, aside from the... I think the Kurami Rickies are expensive now. Because oh uh, they were extra booster. Kirby, which ones? The English Kermy Rickies. Oh, uh, yeah. But I don't even know what that card's called. Um, Data Bullet. Oh, the star has the good art. 
It's the f it's like the third card. Nightmare or Queen. I can check on TCG Player right now. Nightmare or Queen. Kermy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like 15. It's like, like it's currently there are only there are only like six on TCG Player. One's 17, the other's 25, and the only person with a play set is charged at 30 bucks a pop. Nice. So good thing I already have a play set. Eight eight Rickies would be. Uh, ideal for this deck for the cigarettes for the search um i remember when brandon was fucking with the deck he's like i keep running out of hand and i'm like we should you should just play fucking eight rickies and the deck instantly started working it was actually pretty funny like you just need all the hand you can get to be ready for that level two turn like the entire level zero lineup is like it's like 17 plus zero <laughs> yeah you, you just have to just have to conserve as much resources as possible and then pop off. And then hope you trigger the wins and kill them. But the the deck outside of the Ricky will probably be pretty cheap. So Something to look out for. It'll be a really funny anti-meta deck. Yeah, if uh, if, if boards day. continue to be a thing. It'll it'll be really funny against all the hollow live decks. You just like spin like this fucking dumpster's Rushia. It's really R funny. Rushia, Rushia, yeah. Rushia and Kanata. Kanata not as much, but Rushia especially, because like you like spin a Rushia, spin the flare. They literally like can't defend the other Rushia. Like you spin enough cards, they lose hand on core. <laughs> like the deck just completely fucking falls apart. Oh. All right, we can move on. That's like the big thing in yellow. So, uh, I think this is Brandon. This is Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got level zero twin here. All those get plus five hundred. You can rest two to choose a character and give one soul. Woo! Yo, free soul pump. I yeah. Serious. <laughs> I mean, the free soul pump is cool, but not not good. I thought you were going to give it a higher grade than at first. No, no, it's not a two one <laughs> plus one soul to front. That would be hype. All right, next. Back to Brian. All right. Uh, we got Kotori eating food. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, choose a date or celestial spirit character. It gains X power. X is equal to the number of your date or celestial spirit yeah, characters times 500. So Drop assassin at zero. Potential pump 2,500. Yeah, on play. It's, it's, it's on play Shimakai. Oh, it's yeah, on play. You give it anything. You choose a character, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Fine buff. Like, it's still not good, but yeah, it's, it's not terrible. Matter. Oops. Oh, crap. What'd I do? Just control Z. You're, you're... Eh. Oh, there we go. I hit control instead of. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Next. Uh, level zero Kagari. Uh, if you have two or more other data celestial spirit, this card gets 1,000 power, so it's 3K all the time. Then on reverse, you can reveal up to top three. If you revealed one or more cards, choose a Kagia or oh, Yuzuru. Kagia. Kagia. Oh, God. We've been fucking that up this whole time. Now we look stupid. Uh, Kagia, whatever. It's a data life character. Uh, Kagia or Yuzuru, uh, in the card name on those cards, add it to hand. Um, ditch the rest. Choose a card in your hand. I'll send it to waiting room. Um, on reverse, Rize for Kagia and Yuzuru only. That is 3K all the time. Only for Kaguya oh, yeah, Yuzuru OTP. <laughs> but I, it's, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you're, if you're playing the twin deck, it's, it seems all right. It whiffs on too many of your other level zeros if you're playing the good version. You'd have to be play, playing like a character deck. Play the bad version, yeah. You bring this deck to a waifu event, and then when anybody asks you which twin you're playing, you say a different one every time. <laughs> uh, and they never, they never figure it out. Yeah, who's who's gonna tell the difference? Mm -hmm. Other data life fans, I guess. Depends. Just, Scout out your locals. It's a meta read. I'll, I'll <laughs> know. Don't do it to me. Clothes versus <laughs> loot clothes, I guess. Now, aren't they both loot? You can, They're both you can, in this fucking can, bondage you can, suit. You can tell by the eyes. Yeah, you I can. I think Kagi only runs wears the bonded suit. I'm pretty sure Yazuru. They both wear the same outfit. Yeah, they except one's pink, bronze. one's pink, and one's blue. I guess they are the same. Okay, yeah. But you can tell by the eyes. Yeah, one one eyes are open, the other one they're half closed. Yeah, Yazuru's always falling asleep. Sleepy Yazuru has a uh, sleep. Yazuru got a little 
Got the cleavage, though. User does good. have a bigger bust. Yeah, do you they? Do. Does she? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Kaguya gets mad at that. The, the, uh, there's a joke where she just gets mad about her sister being bustier all the time. Great. I... I love Data Live. Hate I, this game. Game. I heckin' yeah. love Data Live. And whose card is this? This is yours. Uh, Did you read mine? Yeah, yes. you get the. Oh, what God. the fuck is this? If you have two LS stock, okay, never mind. I it's misread this card completely. If this six card six is card. two LS stock, it's four uh, K. Four K. Yellow four K. Four Ks are strong, dude. They always live. No one can kill them. That is true. That's what I learned playing D side, dude. You slammed on the 4K, and then your opponent's like, "No." I was I was playing Hall 11. I sat down across from Carmen, and he played the 4K, and I was like, "I with I two global that. fives." What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's like a 5K in the center. He's like, "I can't kill it." <laughs> Always lives. All right, next true. card. Uh this is a one-one leaf of counter. Oh, he doesn't have to burn his. It's a one-one leaf okay. of counter. Okay. Just making the smug face. Leaf, uh, they're fine. Because I want Brandon to read this card instead. We'll Yo, that's see. a lot of words. Yo, the finger wow. gun. Oh my god, you just hate me, Carmen, I swear. <laughs> you can summarize the second effect. <laughs> oh my god, I, I wish I could summarize. I have to read first. Alright, if this card has a thousand markers under this, it gets plus 17,000, so it becomes a 20k. If when yeah. it's placed on the stage from the hands of the top card of your deck to the waiting room, if it's a data live card, and wait, if it's, a, if it's a data live character and you have separate characters with Toka, basically if you have the whole squad on your board, or is on your board? Wait, no. Oh, there's too many words. <laughs> words! <laughs> Oh, in the waiting room. So if you have every character in the squad in your waiting room when you play this card, um, you might put the top eight cards of your deck in underneath this as a marker. And then at the end of your turn, you lose all the markers. So you play it. If you have the whole squad in your waiting room, it, it's at, it becomes god-sized, and then you just kill anything, and then you lose all your markers. It's Dude, like... That's eight cards. It's, like, no. it's like Reinhardt. <laughs> It kind of. <laughs> How can you compare this to Reinhardt? This card oh, yeah, this card you fucking card. sucks. Yeah, it's, it's this right, card's I'll, really I'll, funny. I'll give him a D because he's funny. Yeah. Notably, you do have to present your opponent with eight different cards from your waiting room. You cannot double dip for any names. You must you must present eight different cards to fulfill condition. So like the the like the runner that's like a Toka and a. Uh, and a Miku, you would have to pull out two, and one would yeah. count for Toka, and one would count for Miku. Yeah, it's like that one Assault Lily card. Oh, yeah, but that one, if you hit, like, it's like burn four, burn three, burn two, or something ridiculous. This is just, <laughs> you, 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 get a, you get a 20k that markers two climaxes on average. Hey, dude, <laughs> this, can, this can get over Devil Homer, probably. Mm. Devil Homer is big. Um... Yeah, this card probably could get over Devil Homera. So you're out to Devil Homera. Madoka yeah. Meta. Madoka Meta Slayer. All right. <laughs> Last card. Uh, back to Brian. All right. We've got 2-1 counter event. The twins are punching and eating food. Uh, choose one of your characters that gets 1,500 power this turn and the following effect. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may deal one damage to your opponent. Burn counter... Except you gotta win the lane. They eat food and they get their fifteen hundred power and they punch you for one damage. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's all right. Held back by being an event, I think. I would rather pay an absurd cost like Betty and just have a character burn counter. But yeah, we... all right, PR lightning round. Everybody jump down to slide number ninety. Oh. I'm coming. All right. We got uh twins and swimsuits. During your turn, this card gains 2,000 power. Uh, at the beginning of your Encore step, if you have another rested character in front of you, you may clock yourself from the top of your deck if you do rest this card. R and Encore on turn 35 uh, for clock yourself top of deck. It's actually it's, fine. It's, it's, it's okay, actually, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually not the worst totally thing. fine. Uh, next card, one zero code tree. When this card attacks during this turn, this card gains plus six power. X is equal to a number of your other Dater Celestial Spirit characters times 1,000. 
card gets to 7 5. Not this good enough. Nope. 1 1 Natsumi. Uh, when you use this card's backup, choose one of your battling characters during this turn. It gives the following effect. Once this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, send that character to memory. 2k power memory backup at level 1. Was this the first 1 1 memory backup? Memory counter? It might be. The one k, the the one k you lose out on might be relevant. I do. It is. Know. It is relevant. The fact that two one, right. the two one memory kick counters are three k is like a big deal when anti changes are twenty five. But I mean, you, you can use this at level one though. Mm -hmm. Is this data lives? Is this data lives only memory? You can No, no. Data no, bullet. Yeah. Data bullet has a two one. You, Kermie with you the cat. Can't, really. You cute. can't cut over uh, oh, other oh. data live decks that need the the full board level one combos. Is that card also a PR? No, it's a common. The other Kermi. It's it's this one. Hold on. I'll actually get the... I can just bring up the... Yeah, this is the other one. Her with the cat. That one. Oh, yeah, she does, she does have the cat. Where yeah. she almost got shot. Yeah, it's also in a far more relevant color than green. So, I feel like that one, you'll always get pushed towards the 2-1. And you get the cat. Uh, yeah. but it's That's it's fine. getting shot. I also fucking hate Natsumi. I didn't bring that up. She's the worst character. I hate that character. She's like a crybaby, like all the time. She like n adds nothing to the overall she experience. She, she adds the mommy. It's only half the time, dude. It's, it's still jailbait, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's still jailbait. Next card, uh, one zero Toka. When this card is placed on the end of stage, you may pay one rest two of your standing characters. If you did, draw a card. Wow, it's like the. the it's like the fucking uh dude, it's like the free fresh and prillia, except it's cheaper by one. God. This is also a 2012 card. Yeah, this card sucks. Last card, 3-2 Miku. Uh it's an early play. If you have two or less climaxes on play, search your deck for a character, shuffle your deck. That's actually fine. It's, yeah, it's that's unremarkable, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah. What playable? I wouldn't run this, but all right, so what do we think of Dow Volume Two overall, Brandon? I know you weren't here for Blue, but that that just know, the Toka right? cards are the only standout cards there. The eight book stuff. Um, if you have any thoughts on the eight book stuff, you can let us know now. You're in here. Um, I mean the the Toka package is fine. I was I'm not super impressed with the level three Toka, but the fact that it ties to the brainstorm makes it pretty decent. It's like the most. It's like the most okay finisher ever toka level three that's like almost exactly what we said <laughs> when we looked at it mm -hmm. almost word for word we were like this is fine uh full field sucks um but you know you get the book support because the book support is like someone's like nightmarish waifu custom card they snuck into the set that card's ridiculous um, other than that, you get, like, really cool, like, upgrades, a couple side grades, like, the Kermie Ricky obviously stands out, that card's dumb as fuck, just a free card, um, Kagura Yuz or Kage Yuzuru early play should probably go in most decks, since most decks are in yellow, uh, it's yeah. just, like, an oh. upgrade, like, Dao always wanted that, like, four or more field basically conditionless early play because red you had to play a certain number of cards to like be able to play that card and standby didn't always want to play it anyway um this card just goes in every deck no matter what your shell which is nice pretty much uh standby is saved with the 2-2 two -two twin drive kermi and the 1-0 coterie um that's going to be your shell for every standby deck uh and dal you only get two uh uh, you only get two Kermies, but um, from how much I've played into Brandon playing the deck, it's, it's pretty consistent for you to get both of them if you play the whole game to get them. Uh, it does require quite a bit of finesse and playing ahead, but you, you can reliably field both of them. It's pretty nice because you have the twin drive most of the time, so if you trigger them, you can pay them out and get them later. I, I'm assuming the deck plays the Yoshino Adachi choice. Um, standby. What? No. Now Brandon doesn't even play it. Yeah. No. What do I run instead? Um. The theory being Ollie that switching things to the front row doesn't matter as much when you have the twin drive to refill your board, and your back row is a little bit more set. No. For um, 
to answer all these questions. No, you have to run the brainstorm. You have to. Right. Yeah, the, the brainstorm's too good. That yeah. is also it's a so card, good. yeah. But, I mean, you have enough stuff to throw in the back row with the standby deck now. It's like, it doesn't matter that much. And besides, like, the Adachi, I mean, yeah, the Adachi's good to kill their early plays, but you have the level one Coterie. It just kills everything anyways, so. Yeah, the one zero Coterie just makes every card win the board all the time. Um, Green, pretty stinker. Overall, kind of sucks. Eight wins, funny. I don't think eight wins going to be like a super meta threat or anything, but like you are going to sit across from that deck at a regional, and you are going to like randomly lose to it. It's like a fucking like red deck, red deck wins deck. You're going to like randomly mm -hmm. get blown out by that deck sometimes. If they hit, you die. Like that's literally just how the deck is. If they if they hit, you die. If they don't, you probably win. Which if but, you've been to enough regionals, they always hit. Yeah, they yeah, always every, hit. Every, every time. Yeah. Opponent always hits exactly yeah. what they need. They always kill you. They and, always and cancel. it's always exactly only you. They whiffed every other game except for Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's your absolute worst loss, and you, you whiff <laughs> because of it. Yeah, it's that's always how it goes. Every, every They're just like, oh, I'm just having a bad day. I just can't seem to hit. And then you see the win climax, like, go to grave off Mulligan. And you're like, oh, no. I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be him. I'm going to be the guy that dies. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the, the eight-win deck is actually really fun to pilot. That's, like, a really fun deck to pick up. If you have the Dow cards already, the new cards will probably be cheap. So you can sneak in there. If you got to buy the old stuff, it's probably going to be expensive. But I think there's no way around that at this point. <laughs> Dow's been creeping up, I think, on TCG Player, the old stuff. Do you even really need to play a lot of old stuff uh, in 8-win? It's really just the Ricky, isn't it? It's the extra booster card, but like the the Ricky is like the card that everybody the, picked up from extra the, booster. So. The Ricky is fucking expensive, yes. Yeah. That's like the card from that whole extra booster. But I think there's enough here for people who had Dow and like maybe were a little upset with the bands. Like they feel like this playset or cards that they have aren't really doing anything no matter what shell you had um there's something for you in this volume too so i think that's nice i think they did a good job on that front like every deck gets something that they can use uh to make it the band not feel as bad for whatever it is you played because mm -hmm. even even if you were playing like coca focus with like the brainstorm and the one zero back row and like those got put on the choice list and you're like i wasn't even playing eight standby i wasn't being the terrorist and i got punished like you get really good upgrades so there's there's something in here for everyone all right i think that's it does anybody have anything else all you got any shout outs nope i'm good you're good nothing yeah anybody else brandon brian anything you want to say in the close i uh... Just no. Nope. I guess I would just say just just basically add add what you said. Just, what what a cool set. Uh, I like all the. I just like how all the decks got something extra. Like eight choice got a power up. Eight standby got a power got a pretty good power up. I don't. It just made it made Dow go from like after the ban. I felt like Dow went from like the best deck to being just an like a good deck, and now it's like now Dow's like on the lawn on like a very very close to being on the. You know, one of the top decks again. It's like it's like almost there again, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I have sat across from Brandon playing the new eight standby a few times now, and it it seems to be pretty decent, even with uh, Kermi limited to two. Yeah, it it definitely doesn't feel bad to play, which is the the important thing. You want your your decks to be playable, even if they're not super top tier meta. You don't want to ever feel bad bringing some to locals. Um, so the fact that it feels good, regardless of how. But it ends up being, and I think it'll put up a good enough showing. I think eight standby is definitely good enough, um, and eight win's definitely going to steal some shit. Yeah, I will mention just by eight win not being the best deck, it's my favorite go to deck when I just want to, you yeah. know, want to make other people sad. It's my, <laughs> my my favorite make my opponent sad deck. All right, so upcoming content wise, we did Kogia, uh, we did Psychono. We have to do Bang Dream 5th Anniversary. It's, it's going to be Bang Dream 5th Annie. Sword Art 10th Annie. And, and, and Quint's movie. And Quint's movie. Ones. Those are the ones we have to do. And then, of course, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. I believe I will be in... Uh, I will be in New York when that set comes out. So that will probably, unfortunately, be delayed. We usually try to get those out fast, but... Um, 
That will unfortunately probably be delayed about a week where we can get to that. Don't um, worry, I'll host, I'll host it. Uh, other stuff. What was it? What came out recently? Dragon Maid. Um, Dragon Maid. Uh, we did a deck tech for that. Um, Arter and I. Uh, I might have ran through that one by myself. I can't even remember. Anyway, there's a deck check on the channel, and if you don't like particularly that build and you want to play something differently, uh, the Clock Tower recently put out a great video where uh, they went over like literally every way you could build the set. It's like this extremely in-depth video. It's really good. I watched it earlier today. Uh, definitely give that a look. They go over literally like every possible way you could build that set because uh, they were super pumped for it. So definitely get in there and check that out. I'll have that linked in the description, actually, because that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it for upcoming stuff. We'll have more deck techs. Again, we're, we're all going to this regional. You guys know how that goes. It's hard for us to keep up content and uh, mm -hmm. compete and go to events. So might be a little bit of filler in there, but we are continuing to trudge through these set reviews. Um, but we're, we've, we're making good progress on them. Uh, we're getting some new reveals soon. Um, pretty sure the upcoming reveal that they just announced is going to be Shadowverse Evolved to English, which will be neat. Uh, based on the font of the announcement that is the Shadowverse font. If you've played the game, you probably recognized it instantaneously uh, because there's a lot of text you got to read in that game, and that is the font. Um, so that is probably what that's going to be, uh, and we might get some more additional reveals in that stream as well, but we will see, as well as stuff coming for JP. Uh, so that is all in the pipeline. And with that, uh, I think we're done. Pittsburgh Weisbord signing off. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.